Hello, in this video we're going to look at three mental health resources that you can use for your veteran population. They're free and available to uh, the majority of the population and they're stuff that I've used in my military life uh, that actually, because it's open source and on the internet, I was thinking, well hang on a second, this is suitable all for veterans. Now, some of them are aimed specifically at veterans and I'll highlight those, um, but others, they were provisionally aimed for military personnel, but if you've still got people who are in that mindset, but despite being in military, uh, in civilian streets, sorry, it might be really useful, really useful them to have a look at and see if they hit for it. So the first one obviously is the Veterans uh, NHS Mental Health Service and this replaced TILS and you'll often see it being pushed out as Op Courage. Okay, the whole purpose of this is, and I'm going to scroll right the way down, is that it provides points of contact all over the UK to make sure that military veterans are getting the necessary support and in, uh, services that they need. And you can see that they're grouped into rough regions and they've got contact addresses um, to also provide urgent care as well if they're required. And so this highlights really that um, have people transitioned effectively from the mental health care services uh, in the military, so uh, called DCMH. Um, now normally the DCMH teams are very good and will either provide care for six months following discharge if they require it or make sure that a transition care is in place, but for a multitude of reasons, um, sometimes that doesn't happen. So that gives you some good contacts there. So in the past, and when I did my Veterans Health article, this was called TILS, which was the Transition Intervention Liaison Services, and that's, but now they've all been swept under uh, the Op Courage banner. Okay, and so I'll leave the link below. Make sure you have a look at it, as there's some really, really useful resources and points of contact that may help, okay? The next one, interestingly, is the Warrior Programme. Now, a uh, bit of a personal note, I've had uh, some issues with my own personal mental health, uh, mainly from some issues uh, in my home life, uh, which subsequently led me to leave the military and has left me to have a couple of times off uh, work. Okay, A good colleague of mine uh, recommended the Warrior Programme as it helped him out with some of his um, mental health issues and has changed his life completely. And so I have a, a general rule that if uh, more than three people recommend the same bit, um, that I'll go for it myself. So the Warrior Program is a free uh, charity, actually, uh, that works mainly on neurolinguistic programming. Um, and it's so for the range of people, as I can sort of suss out. Now, uh, you can sign up, so warriorprogram.org.uk, and they've got certain courses. Now normally these courses are face to face but obviously with wonderful covid times they're uh they're now all online. Now I've got a course booked on the uh, 12th to the 16th of July um which I'm thoroughly looking forward to for actually. But at the moment um I've done all the pre pre-course support which is mainly about coaching. So if you've got someone who's in that weird grey middle ground of they've not got a firm mental health uh, disorder, so sort of they're, you know, they're not obviously anxiety, depression, you know, you're going to try and get them down the CBT route or on medication, but they just need a bit of support in their everyday life, then actually this really, really um, may be for them. So this is just a sort of a, uh, several of uh, a couple of audios that I listened to actually whilst walking the dog um, and found it thoroughly, thoroughly useful. So if you've got people who are struggling, have not really clicked with the civilian services that they've been offered, who are still trying to improve themselves, and that's it. It's they need to be open to improvement. So the ones that I find that I've recommended are who have read self-help books, think like The Chimp Paradox, um, Atomic Habits, who are open to changing their mind, um, point them in this direction. Now, interestingly enough, you don't need to do anything as the clinician. It's purely driven by them, and it gives the onus on them, basically. So, obviously, give their name and details, 
you let them go, okay, and then it takes it from there, really. So that's the sort of the central database and also the inquiries. Um, and they have regional teams and then they will get in contact with you. They It took me about half an hour to an hour to actually have a chat to the Northeast representative. Um, and she was absolutely fab. Absolutely brilliant. We had a long chat through whether the course would be right for me. Um, and she basically said, yeah, just give it a go from that point. So if you're interested, I'm more than happy to document my time and put a video up on here. Um, just let me know. Okay. So finally, head fit. Now, interestingly... Um, about a year or so ago, the army were paying for uh, Headspace, uh, so the mobile meditation app um, subscriptions. They were giving a year out, and it's and it was working. Like I had, I had some really good feedback from some of my service personnel that they got some really useful bits from it. And then sort of HeadFit crept out, and I was like, ah, I can see what's going on here. So this again is for those who are in this weird grey middle ground that, you know, you're not concerned they haven't got a severe mental health illness, but, but you just need to help them along a bit. Now, provisionally, this is aimed at military personnel. But again, going back to our previous comments, this may be really useful for someone who is uh, just just not quite getting the, you know, wants something a bit different and wants, doesn't feel that what the services that they're getting a pitch at them. And you can see it sort of goes over certain uh, bits and pieces, you know, and it gives a lot of guided tools in terms of, you know, making yourself, uh, just getting out of yourself from that point of view, okay? And it sort of talks you through yourself, positive self-talk being one of them, okay? And it sort of has multiple videos and things to look through and look at. And again, it might be just enough just to sort of help someone who's struggling a bit. So, you know, it'd be really, really useful for them to know about. Okay, so just a quick video from me. We've covered those three uh, topics. I'll leave a link to them all below. You got Op Courage, uh, the Warrior Program, and then HeadFit. Have a look for them yourselves. I'll deliberately leave all the links there so you can copy and paste them across to your practice websites and then take it from there. I've been Dr. David Highmarsh. Please feel free to comment and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you soon.